Okay, this is Jake from Raw, Utah. I'm starting by my gate line here. You can see those are the mounds on our front page from RawUtah.com. Just live in a basic neighborhood in Utah. It's called Hurricane, that's why it's really windy today. But these are the peach trees we planted this week. Pretty excited about that. That'll be in the next video. But as far as the dome update and what we're showing you today, let me cruise down the hill real quickly and show you where we're at as far as May 2009. These, this will be in another video. These are our gardens, um, square foot gardens. Let me show you the color real quick. It's pretty cool. And down to the dome we go. It's an 18 foot diameter growing dome. And we've done a couple things right now as it's warmed up. I'll just show you real quickly before we go in. I have a shade cloth covering part of it. And it's helped keep the temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees cooler inside. Also put a screen door on. And the fan that's on straight across the other side is shooting um, air across and outside the out through the screen door. And we've also, I also keep the, the path, the cinder, or the uh, cedar bark path wet and it's kind of causing a swamp cooler effect. Temperatures are staying around 80 degrees and if it gets warmer I just come in and wet the path. Hoping that'll work for the time being until I can get these vines on the other side, the cucumber vines, to go vertical as quickly as possible and, then, and therefore giving that transpiration effect. I'm just going to show you real quickly the uh, little book um, Frank Mantis has been helping me out. We have three eggs hatching here, and they've just really decided to stay in here and make it their home. They're everywhere in here. Okay, I'm going to back back away and just sit down. I just harvested um, a bunch of tomatoes and um, of the cherry and larger type and potatoes, which I'll show you in another video as well. I'm going to sit down here and just show the effect of the shade cloth helps a lot and just pan around sitting on the sitting on the chair here and show you the growth everything's growing really well as far as I as far as I know the plants seem really happy to me up on top of the tank, you can see uh, the heirloom tomatoes still getting ready to be planted. Been planting like crazy. These are the last to go in the outdoor garden beds. Harvesting tons of greens for our green smoothies. This is a sage plant that's blossoming here, as well as the snapdragon. Still getting taller. Tomatoes are doing really well. I'll get around to them in a second, but I'm just going to come back. The ginkgo tree from the very first video to show you these beautiful leaves. Cucumbers are starting to vine up. I'm going to experiment with vining one up, a piece of twine, and the rest of them up this side of the wall and get that. Uh, hopefully, they'll be able to help moderate the temperature as they get taller up this side of the dome. Lots of different things, the cayenne, lots of different peppers. We've got a first pepper here. There's so many things to show you, so I'm going to just try and capture it by panning different directions. Some of the things I'm working on right now are definitely the, the vining cucumbers, um, getting tomato plants planted outside, and we're harvesting a lot. That's why I decided to go ahead and film today because of the tomatoes, which we're definitely grabbing as they turn really red and popping them in the old mouth. 
I never liked tomatoes before, but these are actually sweet and good. And slightly more nutritious. There are some red ones down there. But this is the fun part about the growing dome. You can just come in and eat all the time. A little bit larger variety. I'm going to put those in some soups today. And these are just too sweet to not be eaten. Here's the kale beds. And they haven't gone to seed yet, so I'm really excited about that. The temperature is at least cool enough that they're happy in here, and we're harvesting a lot still. This dill smells really good. I wish the camera had an ability to smell, because it smells good in here as well, because of the, the cedar path and all the different blossoms. There's some more nasturtium, really tasty as well. This is some fun basil. Some of the other things we're eating in here are definitely the aloe. Uh, actually, everything we're eating in here. Let me just show you the uh, lime. Actually, this is the Myers lemon. Just getting ready to turn yellow. Over here, we have the bird of paradise that just shot up her leaves. All sorts of mints and marigolds. Over here, a friend of a, uh, the family just gave us some astragalus. This one died off, but here you can see astragalus. We also got some rue. And everything's just really diverse. You can see the peppermint has taken off. This is kind of fun. I'm going to let this vine along this, the sides and just go all the way around the growing dome. And as I'm running out of time here, I'm going to go over to the north side of the growing dome. This is uh, all in one almond, just getting ready to plant this outside. You can see the different herbs just everywhere catnip, some parsley. These marigolds smell amazing. But up here in the pond, fish are still doing really well. Up here is goji berry. Uh, this was in the last video and I just want to show you the, the state they're in right now. I'm getting ready to plant these to a little bit bigger pots and see if we can't get them to continue growing. So that's the update from the raw Utah dome, growing dome here in Hurricane Utah. We'll be back again next month and we'll see where we're at see if we can keep the temperatures down as we exit the dome I'm just going to show you what will be in the next video this is what we've been working on